be ready start learned counsel for the petitioner contended that the lower appellate court has misdirected itself in not taking into consideration the affidavit filed on behalf of the tenant petitioner in support of its defense solely on the ground that the said affidavits were inadmissible as they were sworn before notary and not before the oath commissioner according to the submission made by Sri Verma counsel for the petitioner the non consideration of the said affidavits has resulted in great miscarriage of justice and the petitioner has been greatly prejudiced and for this reason alone the finding of fact recorded by the appellant authority is vitiated in law as the said finding has been arrived at on consideration of evidence of one side only in support of submission reliance has been placed on the decision in the case of kashinath srivastava versus mr g s tiwari and others 1982 aij 642 in this case the question raised was whether the affidavit sworn before the notary are not admissible in evidence and could not be taken into consideration because of the language used in section 34 in bracket 6 of the act honorable k n goel j examined the matter through thoroughly and answered the question saying that the provision of section 34 in bracket 6 was merely an enabling provision and it could not shut out an affidavit sworn before a notary which in any case would have been admissible even without any express provision in that behalf section 34 in bracket 6 does not exclude consideration of affidavit sworn before the notary learned counsel for the respondents on the other hand argued that where something is required to be done in certain manner it has to be done only in that manner or not at all and all other modes get necessarily excluded he submitted that a specific procedure of swearing of affidavit has been provided in section 34 in bracket 6 of the act and therefore the swearing of the affidavits has to be done in that manner alone and not otherwise and since section 34 in bracket 6 does not speak of swearing of affidavits before notary any affidavit sworn before such an officer cannot be read evidence in proceeding under the act it would appear from the decision in kashinath's case supra that a similar argument was also made before the court but the same was rejected by the learned judge holding that the aforesaid principle is applicable primarily in relation to exercise of statutory powers by public authorities and is more rigidly enforced in cases where power is of drastic nature but even in regard to exercise of public powers the rule is not of universal application no rule of public policy can be imagined for exclusion of affidavit sworn before the notary from proceedings under the act the provision contained in section 34 in bracket 6 of the act being procedural in nature has to be interpreted in such a way so as to advance justice and facilitate to meet its and end and court should not take a very strict technical and narrow view what was required to be seen in such matters was whether there has been substantial compliance of the provision or not in view of the aforesaid decision and also having regard to the scheme of the act the affidavit sworn before the notary cannot be excluded from consideration by the authorities acting under the provisions of the act the appellant authority therefore in the present case committed a manifest error of law in not considering the affidavits 
filed on behalf of the petitioner simply on a technical ground it could not be disputed from the respondent's side that the affidavit filed on behalf of the petitioner were very material having a hearing on the issues involved in the case it is well established law that non consideration of material evidence which goes to the root of the matter in controversy vitiates even a finding of fact recorded by the court below and in such cases this court has the power to interface stop